Good morning, this is Pastor Blake. Thanks for joining me. We're in our third week of, of making sure that Jesus is Lord in all of our life. And uh, what we're doing is walking through the book of James, just kind of, uh, not, not every verse, but just kind of pausing at different places and allowing uh, the scriptures to ask questions of us. And we're allowing uh, James to be the conduit for the Holy Spirit to do this because James says, as he starts his letter, he says he's a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's saying Jesus is Lord. Um, and he's writing to the 12 tribes. He's writing to uh, Christians from uh, a Jewish background in all likelihood who are scattered among places where uh, Jesus is not understood as Lord. And so what does it mean for them to live that Jesus is Lord? So here we are in chapter four. Matter of fact, I actually preached on this, uh, not yesterday, but uh, uh, the week before. Um, and so maybe you've had some time to give this uh, some thought. This kind of uh, was a sermon I wasn't planning to preach, but because of some things that happened here in our church family, uh, I preached on this. So let me read it to you again. Uh, James chapter four, verses 13 uh, to 17. Now listen, you who say today or tomorrow we will go to this or to that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boasting is evil. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. And so the two questions that I feel like this passage, the Holy Spirit is using uh, in my life is, how can I live today with an eternal perspective? Now, what choices should I make today that recognize this truth that my life is a bit like a mist, that it appears and it's here for a little while, then it vanishes? In the scope of uh, human history, um, how much, how, how small a part my life plays, and then you put it in light of eternity, how small a part my life plays. And yet, the scriptures never teach that my life is insignificant. It's just uh, helping me realize uh, that I only have a small uh, moment uh, to make a significant impact. So how can I live today with an eternal uh, perspective? And then related to that, I think, is, is this uh, idea that comes out of verse 17. If there is a good that I know I ought to do and don't do it, that is sin for me. Um, am I kicking the can down the road on something that God has revealed? Something I need to say to someone, some ministry I need to be engaged in, uh, somebody uh, or someplace I need to make a financial um, uh, commitment or investment? Is there a good that I know I should be doing and I'm not doing it? Uh, and, and if the Holy Spirit has revealed it to me and I reject it and I put it on pause and since I'm saying no, um, then it's sin for me. And so where is it that I know there's good I should be doing, but I haven't yet taken that step of faith? So let me pray for myself and pray with you as well this morning. So Holy Spirit, thank you that you speak to us through your word. Your word is alive, it's living, it's active, it's sharper than a double-edged sword that can penetrate between our soul and our spirit. And Holy Spirit, I pray this morning as my friends listen in with me that your scripture would be alive uh, to us, that we would recognize uh, the fragility of life and we would value it. We would um, value it in the sense that we know that today we can do something that is of eternal significance. We can do something that is good uh, in people's lives. So whether it is a note whether it is a call we make, whether it's a financial um, commitment we make, uh, whatever it is, Lord, that, that you would have us do, uh, help us to do it with, with your kingdom in mind and eternity in mind. And Lord, um, we, sh 
do not feel, I do not feel that we should think of ourselves in uh, um, an insignificant way, that we're mist-like, uh, but that rather we would um, live in this moment, live today. And so, Lord, help me not only to think about doing good, but to enjoy the goodness of who you are, uh, to enjoy my family, uh, to enjoy my spouse, to enjoy my brothers and sisters, to enjoy creation, to enjoy um, the, the privilege of, of fellowship and of being able to participate in, in wholesome things that you have created for your people to enjoy. So thank you, Lord. I pray that you hear our prayers and you would cause us to walk in joy and in obedience to you. Amen.